We rely on natural ecosystems, forests, deserts, wetlands, rivers, marine environments and more for every single aspect of our survival. Clean water, fresh air, the food we eat and the resources we use are all derived from nature and depend on healthy functioning ecosystems for their very existence. However, ecosystems in marine, freshwater and terrestrial environments are in decline around the world. Everyone knows that coral reefs are in danger and that rainforests are disappearing. Or do we? What do we actually know in scientific terms? How much of these ecosystems remain? How are their functions changing? And how likely are they to disappear? IUCN has developed rigorous methods for the world's first red list of ecosystems. This is a new global standard that will allow people to track the status of ecosystems through time, diagnose the causes of decline and do something about it. With climate change and increased risks of disasters, we urgently need criteria at the ecosystem level to not only raise awareness about threats to ecosystems, but also demonstrate how improved ecosystem management can reduce risks, enhance resilience and be a means for adaptation. The Red List of Ecosystems provides valuable information to help governments, conservationists, land use planners and the private sector to make informed decisions to sustainably manage our natural resources. To stem biodiversity losses and the decline of ecosystem services, we need to make a difference across whole landscapes and seascapes. The Red List of Ecosystems will identify the world's most threatened environments and those that will benefit most from restoration efforts, allowing us to make better decisions for supporting our diverse cultures, sustaining our economy and providing our food, water and clean air, and ultimately our quality of life. <laughs>